Hello friends, this video is about a video. <laughs> I have placed a link to the video I'm talking about today down below in the video description. I saw the video about a year ago for the first time and thought to myself, that cannot be. A few weeks ago I watched it again and was amazed at how many people have watched it and now have what I believe to be false information. In the linked video it is said that different fuels lead to different thrust of our beloved turbines. I think that is definitely not correct. The biggest difference is said to be between Jet A1 and diesel. Since I couldn't believe it, I also did a test with three different fuels, including Jet A1 and diesel, of course. And we'll now take a look at this test. At the bottom you see the three fuel tanks. On the left, Jet A1. In the middle, kerosene, known as petroleum in German. And on the right, diesel. On the left side of the screen is a pressure gauge that shows the combustion chamber pressure. At the top, the thrust and GSU data is displayed. In the box at the bottom right, I list the measured thrust values. I took the thrust values that were displayed 5 seconds after the turbine reached nominal speed. Now we have our first reference value of 163.2 newtons. Now take a few minutes and watch the test. Sorry that the video is a bit longer, because it is uncut, except for the two viewing angles, so you can follow the full test. Kerosene, petroleum in German, and Jet A1 are chemically almost identical, except for some additives in Jet A1. Therefore, the measured value from Jet A1 is also almost identical to the first one.
Now it will be interesting. If it is true that diesel has a lower thrust than Jet A1, we will see that in a moment. Okay, that doesn't look like diesel has less thrust. Interesting intermediate finding. Jet A1 smokes much more than kerosene. But diesel is the king in smoking. That's a big cloud that's generated there when it's shut down. Now finally, the reference measurement to the first, to see if anything has changed in the environment. I do the measurement in my workshop. Since it is quite cold outside, it may be that the air in the workshop cools down slightly, which then leads to somewhat larger thrust. No, our two control values are also identical, except for a small deviation. As you just saw, there is no thrust difference between the different fuels. But in the linked video, there was a clear difference. Why? The job of the ECU or FedEx of a turbine is to control the speed of the turbine to the set value, in my case 120,000 rpm. But 
if in the ECU a limit, temperature or as I think the pump limit, is set too tight for diesel, the turbine may not reach the RPM and therefore not the expected thrust. So I think that's what happened in the linked video. Well, what to do? When you change the fuel, you have to adjust the settings, especially the limits in the ECU or FedEx, according to the instructions in the manual. And then you can use any fuel that the manufacturer has released without loss of thrust. I thank you very much for your attention and would be very happy if you share the video with your friends. Thank you and goodbye.